it's really sad. It shows that there's lots of violence in our society and schools are not, uh, are not uh, apart from the societies. Classes were cancelled on Monday here at Collège Montmorency in Laval, north of Montreal, after a shooting nearby Friday night forced the school into lockdown for over four hours. School officials asked students and staff to use the day to step back from the shooting that left four people injured. I was pretty shocked and scared because I knew like a lot of students who had like classes that day or uh, so I just want to make sure like they were good. The victims sought refuge inside the college, creating some initial confusion as to where the shooting took place, sending about 500 students and staff members into lockdown for at least six hours. Student Matisse Gendron wasn't in the building at the time but heard the scene unfold from his apartment. It's right there and I, I heard uh, two, uh, four shots. Some students and staff were still on campus Monday as the school offered support from intervention workers to those who need it. I can just go to school and have no fear because, you know, I wasn't there. So for me, it's less scary to go back in school. For other people, it might not be. Some wanted to, to continue today. Uh, some others were relieved that there wasn't a class today, but... Tomorrow it's, it's uh, starting again, so we need to be ready for that. Laval police said certain victims were part of a street gang and emphasized that the shootings have no connection to the college. It is not uh, students from the SAGEP. However, uh, when you take a look, I was hearing some people say, oh yeah, but they're shooting themselves amongst themselves, those street gang members. But a lost, uh, you know, uh, a lost round that could hit anyone. That's why it has to be taken very seriously. Matisse says he was in the park just 10 minutes before the shooting. The first thing I think it's, oh, maybe it's, it will be me. Police are still searching for suspects in the case. I'm scared that it can happen somewhere else, you know. If it happened there, you know, you see how close it is now. So you never know where it can happen next. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.